Hello, I'm Dr. David Cox, board member of Pelican Island Audubon Society and Audubon, Florida. The Stick Marsh Critical Wildlife Area was established by the Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission in 2016 uh, to protect an important concentration of wildlife and manage human activities to minimize and avoid disturbance during the critical periods of their life cycle. Uh, early reports by Pelican Island Audubon Society members had identified the Stick Marsh Islands as having a large number of nesting water birds. Um, and on the basis of that, uh, we contacted Audubon Florida Everglade Science Center, Dr. Jerry Lawrence, who agreed to come up and uh, take, uh, take us out onto the islands to uh, identify what uh, and quantify the nesting birds. And so on April 1st of 2016, we did a complete nest census on both of the Stick Marsh Islands. Uh, and on less than about a third of an acre, there were 577 total water bird nests, 140 spoonbill nests, 193 great egrets, 226 small herons, which included snowy egrets, cattle egrets, tricolored herons, and 18 anhinga nests. Uh, 140 spoonbill nests that year made it the second largest colony in the state after the Alifaya Banks. Uh, during that uh, monitoring day on the 1st of April, we saw vessels uh, approaching the islands with birders and photographers who were right up against the nests, disturbing the adults while there were circling black vultures above. So we recognized that we needed action to protect this colony. And in May 2016, uh, upon the invitation of Audubon, Florida, we were invited to go to the Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission meeting in uh, St. Petersburg to support the creation of a new critical wildlife area. This year, they were uh, creating about a dozen new critical wildlife areas, which was the first time in over 20 years that they had created any new critical wildlife areas. And we made the case to add Stick Marsh to that list of new critical wildlife areas. And the Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission staff were enormously supportive and helpful. And uh, Mr. Kip Froelich, who runs the Imperiled Species Program, uh, became a firm supporter of it. We submitted a proposal to uh, the Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission on May 5th of 2016. And by December, the commission had voted on and approved the creation of the Stick Marsh Critical Wildlife Area with the full support of St. John's River Water Management District, Audubon, Florida, and of course, Pelican Island Audubon Society, which had really been driving the process forward. Uh, as soon as it was created, we began a citizen science monitoring program, uh, Spoonbill Watch, in cooperation with Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, collecting flight line data to see where the animals were going into the surrounding marshes for foraging, and perimeter nest counts, um, both from the shore and in water. And this has been an ongoing monitoring process from 2016 to the current uh, April of 2020.